Hey y'all, it's me and and this is how you would pay out a Sloan Royal Flushometer. These are, um, Flushometers you find in malls, airports, and schools, any commercial building. Maybe hotels, maybe anything. Okay, so you take your slot screwdriver. So that's out like that, okay? Now, what you want to do is push your handle to make sure nothing comes out, okay? First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check. Now, as long as this joint right here doesn't leak, you're good to go. So you got four main things. Now, these here can be rebuilt. First is your... Diaphragm. Ah, oh, that thing's been in here for a while. Let's, let's see what kind of condition it is. Okay. That's your comb cap. And then you've got this cover here. And then you have a diaphragm, okay? Your diaphragm comes out. Next, you want to replace it with this. This is your new diaphragm. Okay. See. Put your cap back on. you want to do the handle. This one sticks. You want to... And here's how you rebuild the handle. Okay. Now... The next thing that y'all are going to want to do is your vacuum breaker. There's something in here called a vacuum. Okay. Let me show you what I mean here. This nut too comes out to take out your valve. Sometimes there will be a little bit of water in here, but this is why this O-ring right here is what you want to lose. What you want to do take you some take you some good old petroleum jelly. And just rub it all over that. Good old petroleum jelly. And put it right inside of there. That's what I do. I make sure that's how I get a good seal. And these things will last so long. Okay. Still leaks. Replace the gasket.
And this is your vacuum nut that I'm tightening with my left hand. Pop a little bit of petroleum jelly. And you're good to go. Now, a lot of these oil handles, see, the, these things stick all the time. Um, last but not least, and there you go. That's how you do it. In my oh, Last but not least, wipe it down, polish it up. Make it look new and shiny. And you are back in business. Have a nice day.